You want to stimulate the immune system. You do it by taking these food-based and much, 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 much better sprouted food-based foods, grains, beans, et cetera, and literally you activate immune cells. This is one of the things we've seen here without knowing this until recently. It's a very recent study. We've been seeing people come back to life here for all of these years. And now the scientific community is letting us know why this is so effective. Superior foods to help end cravings. So how do you get rid of these cravings? So let's give you some good hard science. So we talked just about sprouts have been widely investigated in their relationship to human health, have been established in their roles of reducing risk related to chronic conditions, obesity, diabetes, et cetera. Oxidative stress, which is you know, a big killer of people today. We know these things because we have a recent study that comes out and basically says to us that out of all the different plant-based foods, nothing comes close to a sprout's ability to take care of these problems and ward off and even help to reverse disease. Now, this is great because humans didn't connive to do this. The universe connived to do this, and they did a pretty darn good job because we've been listening to the universe and employing that. And we watch it work in case after case after case after case. On the third day, when guests come in here, always 52 weeks a year, Basically, they're saying to Anna Marie and I and the rest of the medical team, how come they're not hungry? Because for the first time in their life, they're getting all of the nutrients they require. This Hippocrates lifestyle is the highest protein, digestible, usable protein diet in the world. So it regulates blood sugar. It takes away that feeling, I'm hungry. That little trigger, the hormone in the brain says, wow. She has fed me. He has fed me. So move into this. This may be new to you as it was to me. When I began this journey, I didn't know what a sprout was. The only thing I knew as an Irish person is they had something called Brussels sprouts. When I tried to soak them and sprout them, it didn't work out the way it should. It's nuts, seeds, grains, and beans. The greatest activator to help your body fight aging and disease, even in the conquest of reversing disease. Spinach, look at this study. It was done at Lund University. That's like the Yale University of Sweden. They found different elements within spinach. Now, ironically, moms throughout history seemingly have told us, eat spinach. Even Popeye, back more than 100 years ago, the man that created Popeye had to meet spinach. And remember, Popeye's muscles would get big and he'd have energy because uh, now we know things we didn't know back then. They must have been instinctually wise about this. But today we know, for instance, once you eat spinach, your hunger goes away by 21%. You feel more satiated, filled, that means, by 14%. You have snacks less and sweets less by 36%. That's more than a third less snacks are required. Now, these are very subtle but powerful studies that say, look at, eat this spinach, and then they observe the people. And this is not like they guessed this. They looked at hundreds and hundreds of people over a period of time, and this was published just a few years ago. And we know that spinach actually takes away hunger. And also, at the other side of it, gives you massive amounts of nutrients. Capsaicin, which are red peppers, taken from red peppers, as well as what they take, the gallet, from green tea. Now, you can take green tea. Green tea is wonderful. But I'm going to give you a little advice on green tea. Get organic, water-decaffeinated green tea. Organic, water-decaffeinated green tea. Because most of the green teas, like most teas or coffee, have a... Parkinson-related, creating Parkinson's decaffeination chemical in it. So you want to avoid that at all costs. And then you don't take it and boil it to death. You take it and put it in pure water, a distilled level water, in a nice glass, and put it in your window for 24 hours. 
If you then prefer it to be warm when you consume it, you don't have to cook it and get rid of all these wonderful elements that we find in it that take away cravings. You literally just heat it to about 110, 115, or about 42 degrees Celsius. And if you do that, the volunteers in this particular study, they had weight loss, they weren't as hungry, their heart rates improved, uh, they did test after test. Their entire body improved because they took these living capsicins from red peppers and these incredible gallet three elements from green tea. Cinnamon, one of my favorites. Uh, one of the great stories is uh, a book among the 31 that I've authored with Anna Maria uh, that we wrote years ago was The Seven Ways to Lifelong Sexual Vitality. And in that book, uh, we had a small section on food where we talked about the foods that activate for females and males, the most sexual hormonal action. And it was cinnamon was one of those. And another was pumpkin. So those of you that like pumpkin pie, guess what? That's why it activates uh, your sex hormones in your body. So these have wonderful like acetate cinnamons in it that are amazing. They have cinnamon that spike neutralize and spike blood sugar levels after ingestion of food are eradicated or eliminated. So story after story that you heard about this, and then the, of course, the pharmaceutical industries try to squash it and say, oh, there's no proof. There's massive proof, proof on this. And we find a lot of this data offshore because here in the United States, it's so um, manipulated at this point. Uh, you have to get legitimate science often from other countries where the powers that be are not so powerful, let's put it that way. So this reduces temptations for even eating sugar, cinnamon does. And who doesn't like cinnamon? My gosh, it's so good. Make sure it's a raw organic variety of cinnamon. Right here on Hippocrates 60 acres, uh, our jungle area, we actually have a cinnamon tree. And where cinnamon is taken from is the bark of the tree. It comes off the side of the bark of the tree. Importance of phytochemicals. These are the magic elements that we only discovered about 50, 60 years ago in science to be the healing agents that were encoded into all edible plants over millions, hundreds of millions of years of evolution of this planet Earth. Isn't that amazing? So here we have a species that we've only been around in this form as Homo sapiens for maybe about 11,000 years. And these plants, the origins go back hundreds of millions of years, had medicines in it that were going to heal and protect us from diseases that seemingly didn't exist before humans were here. Heart disease, diabetes, cancers, multiple sclerosis, even weight loss, weight gain. So these phytochemicals are amazing. Until we discovered this, not we, but the scientific community discovered it, and we read about it, we didn't really comprehend why so many people brought about their own healing here at Hippocrates.